What's up guys, Coach Jesse Minch here. Today I got three secrets to help you make more shots as well as three challenges that'll help you make more shots in games. This first secret is something I haven't really heard any other coaches teaching and I've kind of discovered this personally for myself. It really helps me a lot as far as making sure my shots are more accurate so I can make more shots and then my shots align. And it's to focus on the base of my palm, of my shooting hand, so I'm a lefty. So when I'm setting up my shot, I try to focus on getting the base of my palm like right in the middle here. I try to focus on getting that point aligned exactly with the middle of the hoop. And I find that my shots don't miss left or right nearly as much. Okay, the second secret isn't as big of a secret, but you have to have it in place with the first one for it to work out for you. And I'm gonna give you kind of two different examples depending on your style of shooting. So if you're more of a one motion shooter, it's getting the elbow in right from the get go, making sure on the beginning that you have that elbow tucked in tight. I've even noticed Kyrie Irving a lot of times, he'll have his elbow almost more like in front of his stomach. So, you know, kind of play around with it, see what works for you, but try to make sure it's not way out here, okay? Especially if you're a one motion shooter. And basically what that means is, from the ball coming here, going all the way up to the shot, there's really gonna be no pause. If you're more of a two motion shooter, generally what that's gonna look like is you're gonna have a little bit of a pause more around your eye line. Me personally, I have a little bit of a, a pause in there. I'm kinda like, like a one and a half motion shooter. But if that's the case for you, you definitely still try to get your elbow in to begin with but you don't have to worry about it quite as much, I found. A two motion shooter tends to shoot a little bit more right as they're, you know, and getting everything aligned right as they're about to shoot. So at that point, make sure that that elbow is aligned. If you're more of a one motion shooter, everything's gonna tend to pretty much move all in one direction. So if the elbow's locked in here, it's gonna stay locked in. But if you're more of a two motion shooter, you can kinda, you know, do more stuff coming from off the dribble and then getting that elbow aligned as you're just coming off your toes. And if you have, you know, that base of your palm aligned but your elbow's out, again, that can, still force the shot to go way one way when you want it to go the other. So make sure you're focusing on that. When I was younger, a lot of my coaches actually taught me to do this, but I typically see like in basketball camps and from coaches that they teach not to do it, and it's to get your feet turned a little bit. For me, like I'm a left-handed shooter, so I'm gonna have my feet pointing slightly to the right and my shooting side foot, my left foot, because I'm a left-hand shooter, slightly forward. So if you're a righty, you would wanna do the same thing. And what that's gonna do, again, is help you get everything aligned. It's gonna make it easier to keep that elbow tucked in, uh, get everything aligned basically on the shooting side, the, the foot, the hip, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the base of your palm, all that. You have a more accurate shot, you won't miss as much left or right, and it's gonna help you get more range on your shot a lot more easily without having to feel like you're really trying to chuck that shot up there. So try, you know, getting your feet less wide and square to the basket and a little bit closer together and turn. Again, you might wanna play around with, you know, the distance your feet are and how much you turn and how much one foot is forward and see what's comfortable for you. But I would definitely recommend at least giving it a try, you know, turning the feet and, and seeing what works best for you. All right, so three challenges that you can do that are gonna help you improve your shooting percentage. The first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hit nothing but net. We're gonna be right next to the hoop. We're just focusing on getting everything aligned, getting the mechanics right before we do some of the drills a little bit further away. And you wanna try to swish it nothing but net. No rim, no backboard, nothing. The only one exception would be is if like whichever we're gonna be moving around this, whichever side you're on, you hit right in the middle of the back part of the rim. So if I'm right here, I would wanna hit that part of the rim. Okay, or from right here, I would wanna hit that part of the rim. Catch it off the bounce and shoot again right away. So we're gonna be continually moving around every time we catch, we're gonna be actively kind of chasing the ball down. I'm gonna chase the ball down, get into another position just a couple feet from the hoop and go into my next shot right away. Set a timer for one minute and see how many shots you can make in that one minute, okay? But it's gotta be nothing but net. The ones that aren't nothing but net don't count. So what it'll look like is this. Here's the first shot, nothing but net. That's one, get set up, get aligned quick, that's two. Get set up, get aligned quick, that's three. Okay, this next one's gonna help you get more accuracy with your shot and eliminate a lot of guide hand issues. So if you're a shooter that has guide hand issues, I know I have, with like a thumb flick, this is gonna help get rid of a lot of that. And basically what you're gonna do is make sure that on the guide hand, so for me, again, I'm a lefty, this will be my guide hand, you keep that thumb pinned to your hand, okay? So it's tucked in like that. Clay Thompson's a great example of this. If you watch him shoot, every time he shoots, that guide hand's like pointing forward and he's got his thumb tucked in. And what that's gonna do is make sure, again, that you're shooting all with just a shooting hand for that release and the guide hand is only guiding it, not directing the basketball in all kinds of funky ways. And on top of that, it's gonna help the things that we talked about earlier be in place as far as having the elbow in and making sure the base of the palm's lined up. So all you're gonna do for this is just go around the three-point line focusing on that. So you're gonna go from baseline Fall line extended or like a 45 degree angle, top of the key, other fall line extended, baseline, and then work your way back. One, two, three, four, five, all the way back. One, two, three, four, five. Count how many shots you made, it's 10 shots. Every time try to make more shots than you did the last time, every time you do this little drill. 
And this next drill is gonna really help you get your shot off a lot better off the move, and especially coming off of cuts, screens, things like that, and especially trying to simulate making shots off of a curl. So if you have a screen and you're curling around, you're catching the ball, and then going up into a shot. So we're gonna basically be going from elbow to elbow, back and forth. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna throw the basketball to one side, just kinda of toss it with both hands so it lands right about, you know, so it bounces here and it'll end up landing right about by the elbow. From there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn, so you're gonna turn the opposite direction, so you're kinda of curling around, okay? And what this is gonna do is work on getting you aligned really quickly for a shot coming, you know, from off the move and turning. So again, you wanna focus on all the keys we talked about earlier, getting the elbow in, making sure the base of the palm is aligned, and getting the feet set up in a position that's comfortable for you. Rebound, come back this way, facing here, turning the opposite direction going up into that shot. So for this one, you're gonna make 20 shots. You wanna set a timer though. Every time you do this, try to make those 20 shots in less time, and that's your challenge. So if you want the ball to go in there more often, make sure you hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what else you wanna see from the channel. That's where this video came from. And make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad by clicking that little bell so you can catch those videos the second they come out. Now, I've actually got a free shooting workout waiting for you that helped me increase my scoring average by a bunch. Just click this link right here, pop in your email, and I'll send that workout to you 100% free. Also, if you found this video helpful, check out this video as well. You'll probably like that one. And check out this playlist. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and get buckets today.